accidents happen on construction sites. When this crane came into contact with an overhead power line during routine freeway construction in Salt Lake City, Utah, 46,000 volts surged through the crane mast and its cab. It exploded in flames. The inferno was so intense, it burned through the concrete pavement. Miraculously, the crane's operator was able to escape suffering just minor injuries. Daily, individuals who operate heavy equipment work for utility companies, fire departments, railroads, or any number of other occupations risk their safety working near high-voltage power lines. OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, investigated hundreds of power line accidents between 1984 and 1997. Because of these potentially deadly accidents, OSHA recognizes the use of proximity warning devices. With the proper use and installation of a life-saving tool known as SIG alarm, accidents can be dramatically reduced. SIG alarm is an audible and visual high-voltage power line proximity warning device. Once the heavy equipment is activated at a job site, SIG alarm is automatically set to maximum sensitivity, immediately detecting the electrostatic field of nearby power lines. The SIG alarm system then automatically alerts the vehicle's operator and ground crew that they're in the vicinity of a high-voltage power line. Although proximity warning devices such as the SIG alarm can save lives, they are no substitute for de-energizing and grounding lines or maintaining safe clearances as required by OSHA regulations. Overhead high-voltage power lines are a hazard for anyone who operates a vehicle with a boom or extension, whether it's a crane, a television news live truck, or a fire rescue vehicle. During a routine drill, Coco, Florida Fire Department Chief Arthur Rompery had a close call with a high-voltage power line. We had a ladder truck that came in contact with the power line. Tragically, that 5% accounts for nearly 45% of all fatalities from electrical accidents. We were lucky that somebody didn't make contact with it because it's several thousand volts and it could have killed them instantly. Missouri-based Weber has one of the country's largest heavy equipment fleets. Its lattice boom and hydraulic extendable boom cranes, boom trucks, and concrete pumps are all outfitted with SIG alarms. The installation process took only a matter of hours. When you look at in the, in the investment that one would put into a SIG alarm device, just to cover that kind of occasional lapse of attention in such a tremendously vital area is indeed a good investment. And that's strictly a monetary situation, and that's aside from the more important element, which is the, the friend that you worked with for such a long time who's no longer with you.
we can't even begin to put a price tag on that. Statistics show the devastation caused by electrical contact, both in loss of life, catastrophic personal injury, and extensive monetary losses. I'd recommend any fire chief that uh, has an elevated platform, uh, ladder truck, a stick of any sort, that uh, they have a big alarm installed on it for the safety of their personnel. Down in uh, Dade County, Florida, they were using uh, cranes to pick up garbage underneath the fire line. They had several contacts and had injured people. Signal alarm was asked to come in and install these devices, and we have in excess of, of 65 or 70 on there now, and they've never had a uh, injury since then. Leading industry publications also recognize the effectiveness of proximity warning devices such as the SIG alarm. SIG alarm has been on the market since the 1970s. During the last 25 years. Not a single injury or accident has resulted using equipment with a properly installed and adjusted SIG alarm. For more information about the SIG alarm system, log on to our website at SIGAlarmInc.com or call SIG alarm at 1-800-589-3769.